I, I wish I could tell you, you know, that's this magic pill you take, you'll be rich in your life. I wish I could tell you that, you know, this is not the way, but I, I'm, I don't know any other way. The honest truth I tell you right now is being rich in my life takes hard work. guys Mike here um, we're, we're, we're going on this little bit of a project right now if you're watching this right now this is probably one of the first series of vlogs that I'm doing I can't believe I'm doing the same thing as what vlogs because I, I have no idea how to do this I'm old school uh, I've been doing uh, what I'm doing for so long that uh, it's been some time that I've actually got into this but I'm excited uh, I've got my D-Rock over there his name is Wayne he's watching it he's just holding like his camera right now and we're going to start on this project and it's a it's a project of passion I would say it's a project of, of passion it's a push, and I want you to get involved in this as much as possible give us as much feedback as possible as you watch this series because there is no intention for me to go out there and tell you anything anything outside of this you know um, except for the fact that I want you to embrace life um, I think my intention of doing this with, with um, Wayne, I was gonna, almost going to call him Vero, but I'm going to call him Wayne, is that uh, we're both people of passion and uh, why he's agreed to come and do this with me is because uh, he sees my life and my journey. Why I agreed to do this is because I want my life and my journey to impact those of you who are watching this right now. Um, a lot of people think I'm about properties, that's not, that's not right, uh, that's not the shit that I only do. Uh, property is the result of many other things that I've got in my life. Those of you who follow me long enough, I've had so much shit happen in my life, so much failures that come into my life, that I want to I want to sound it up to many of you guys out there looking for yourselves. If you are afraid of the failures that's coming in, if you're wanting the desire, the success that you have, but having no, no direction or you're lost, unsure, or you have had failures before that stops you, I want this vlog to inspire you to go forward in your life. I mean, I cannot believe once upon a time I used to be an engineer in school, I used to be a student studying, um, you know, a year engineer working, a student studying. I was like every single other person out there. And to say this honest truth, I was lost then. I was honestly lost then. I was afraid, I was lost, I was unsure of myself. But the one thing I did that was right was I decided to take action. I decided to go out there and really do something in my life, do crazy stuff in my life. And I've lived like the most craziest, awesome freaking life until today. And not to brag or anything, the only reason why I'm sharing this with you is because if you're stopping yourself from growing, I want this vlog, that I hope that this vlog inspires you to be the greatest of who you are. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to bring Wayne over here and then hopefully see as much of the troubles of my life, as much of the things that I do. I do property investments, I do seminars and I speak. I, I, I actively engage with public to inspire these people. I want you to capture those moments in and you can embrace those moments and bring it into your life and do something about yourself. Why not? I hope you enjoy this journey and let's go all out for this, all right? Men in black, they're all Why do you think people lose motivation? Oh, this is not sometimes. Everybody does this. Everybody thinks that you know, with money, with uh, with with uh, when they do something and they get money out of it, that motivates them. And the truth to be told is that money never motivates all the time. That's that's, that's a that's the shortest way of motivation because it, you got to keep on fueling yourself with that, and you realize one day it's not all just about the money. You know, um, shit. I mean, I don't know if this is the best ex uh, example to give on, on video, but it's like uh, sex and love. You know, if you're going to get the girl just because you want to fuck the girl and have like uh, 
I don't know if it's a good one, but you know, it's just like sex, you know, you just want to get to the girl just because, or the guy just because you want to have good, make good love. It's not going to last you long. It's got to have emotions in play. It's going to have relationships and bonding. So it's the same thing with people out there. They say they want to go out there and do some sort of business. They want to go out there and, um, you know, go out there and make some money in some way. But they realize that uh, what they wanted originally was just to make the money. After they've made the money, you know, and they continue to make the money, they lose the flavor. Uh, it doesn't taste that good anymore. Uh, it becomes routine. It becomes a job. What's the difference between a business and a job if you don't have that motivation coming in, right? What's the difference between a job and a business when you're not passionate about it? Is basically the passion, right? The passion is the one that fuels you. You love waking up. Money is only the, the subset of it, right? You make it only because you love doing it. You wake up every morning, loving what you do, doing it the best of your life, and you get the rewards of money coming in. So. Passion still has to merge with the money, but I think passion is more important. So when people lose their motivation, it's a telltale sign that it's not what they really want to do, or they have forgotten why they did it in the first place. I think I find so many entrepreneurs who have forgotten the fire, and that's why they fall out of love, and that's why they get demotivated. Well, a lot of people say, oh, I want to go out there and do this business because it makes a lot of money out there. Wow, oh, they go yeah, all the way, they go and go out there, enjoy themselves, make tons of money. But after that, then they get bored. No, now here's the thing, it gets addictive. So what I'm going to say addictive is some people that are stupid enough to do this. And I think those are the stupid entrepreneurs, right? They go for the thrill and the next thrill, okay? So you bang this girl, you've enjoyed yourself, go for the next girl. You bang this guy, enjoy yourself, go for the next guy. And you keep going for that sex thrill. Right, trill. Right, same with the money trill, right? You go out there and say, oh, I need money from this, let's go to the next one, we give money next one. That's shallow. It makes you shallow. Don't you agree? If you have your person just going out there banging everybody else just for the sex, right? Just for that game, it makes you shallow as a person. And that's the same thing as an entrepreneur. There's two types of entrepreneurs. The one with depth, the one with soul, or the one that's just going out there for the cheap trills. Right? And a lot of people I find that goes out there just for the money, they want to go from one to another, getting the Rolexes, getting the, t getting the gadgets and the things, making more money out of it, but not really feeling and understanding the business and having the soul put in. Those are the ones, one day you wake up, you will want to wake up, you wake up, you look at the ceiling, it's 12 noon, and you have no reason why you want to get out of bed. And that's going to be a problem. And if you're in that situation right now, get alive. Stop going for the cheap trails, go deep. If you kind of want to know what's going on over here, basically, uh, Invest Now, we've got a system running. Uh, we've got coaches. And the coaches are the people at the back over here. And these are all the people that are helping out with all the participants. Are they paid? Huh? Are they paid? No, they're not paid. Everyone's on a volunteer basis. So everyone, why are they back here? Is because every single one of them have bought their properties. So it's a, it's a fulfillment journey. Um, they're not paid. Nobody's paid over here. They come in voluntarily. Um, why would you say that is the experience of them going to get every one of these people to get the breakthroughs they receive uh, it's a paying forward so this whole program is a paying forward program uh, a lot of people are looking and say like oh fuck I'm making tons of money out of them we don't right it finances for all this shit over here is literally almost an NGO like, helping people how to go out there and make money on their own well I won't say NGO let's put it this way if I don't make money from this as well it, it will be a sin right I but I do flow that money back. So I give them in terms of rewards. And why we don't pay the money is because if you put money in terms of the relationship, between the relationship, meaning that if I'm paid to be here to go and coach somebody else, the relationship is um, it's kind of tarnished. So that's why we don't do it that way. So they just come in basically on their own free will. Um, they give, I, and I like this. It's a, it's a giving formula. It's stupid, I know, but that's how we do it. And it cultivates a very good, stupid environment 
whereby these people continue to give even outside of coaching. Um, we come back constantly to give value, to give information, to share deals. And that's how we get rich. You know, the fun part is we actually do make money uh, giving out deals away and, and working it together and taking things down. I know a lot of people are watching this right now, you don't understand where all this is coming from, but that's how the world works. You know, um, I think we have seen too many places whereby we only make money, relationships are based on money, and that's a stupid, shallow relationship. Over here, what we do is we build the relationship first, we build the trust first, and then from the trust, that's how we create great value. You just saw in the room people taking 10 people getting 23 properties down. That's based on value of trust. When you have trust first, and then you build on that to get the money comes in a lot more and on a conti continuous basis. So that's what we do in the community. So I want to do two. Two bouts. One locker which is 10. The other one is 20. Two bouts. Okay, so the area is near to the Duran Hey guys, they closed 10 units. Is that cool? Yeah! Let's give that a big round of applause! How many of you here have not closed your units yet? Raise your hands. All right, everybody high five person and say work harder. Come on, go ahead. I am telling you one thing right now. If you guys are watching this and you don't understand what's happening in the market, Right, you are nuts. Right, there are a lot of deals out there right now. This is not the only deal that some of the teams over here have bought more than one unit. Right, the entire team worked very hard. They walked back. I want you to watch right now. How many people are in your team? Four. Four of you guys. Four of you guys walked back with two and a half units each after how many months? Two months. Okay. Yeah. Guys, okay, this is this is no shortcuts. I, I I wish I could tell you, you know, that's this magic pill you take, you'll be rich in your life. I wish I could tell you that you know this is not the way, but I, I'm I don't know any other way. The honest truth I tell you right now is being rich in my life takes hard work. I got to push myself to the max of my limits and beyond before I can get the big money to come in. Because you know what? I'm not good enough. I don't have enough skills. I don't have enough experience. So the only way I'm going to succeed is put all in. Whichever fuck shit out there shows you another different win is a fucking con man. The only way how you're going to either win is put all the effort in or con somebody else. Cheat the guy. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Especially in Johor. Because Johor is getting dangerous now. But there's opportunity, so you gotta do your homework lah. Okay, so let's wrap it up. Right? This is Michael over here. I just did my vlog. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed it until today. If you really like this, subscribe for more. Don't do it for me, do it for yourself. If you've enjoyed everything of what I've said or anything of what I said, remember two things. Drop a mail to me, PM me about stuff. Write to me, tell me what your story's like. Or number two, if you like what I have, give me feedback about it. But number three, Follow because I hope I've made a difference to you. Subscribe, go in, come in, and play this game with me. So till the next time round, see you around. All right, take care.